royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress, and the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us, Sokolov. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. This rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. Dunwall citizens. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin to be High Overseers. Let us all praise their choice. The Dance of Investiture will take place without delay. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. Okay. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. I'm about to bathe. I understand. It was an accident. We have such a hard time maintaining privacy in such a crowded house, don't we? By officers of the watch, display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wine. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, 
I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendisian spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? I had a flask in my studio. Had I known I'd be leaving, I would have grabbed it. King Street Brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect, Coro. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me.
Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those pills. No, thank you. I don't understand what happened to this city. 
Invitation, please. Oh, yes. They're going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to guess. Another of their eccentric fancies. Right this way, sir. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on, once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being different. As much as you take in being easy. Shall Look at that mask. Another party Sick game. <laughs> it was fun for a season, but now... What is it tonight? Yes, The party's indoors this time. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Yes? You could... Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless, lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. What most people don't remember is... The rats came a half Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last and night? Plane. Indeed. Step back, I believe sir. so. I don't believe we're acquainted. Hello, sir. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. Lydia, Waverly, Esma, White, Black, Red. There has to be a clue upstairs as to who's who. Ugh, you smell like the streets. Been slumming it, have you? Are the new applicants as weak as the... Welcome to the Boyle Estate. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is we Waverly. Have the girl bring I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, Enjoying and I will yourself. keep her safe with you me. You should see this as an opportunity. To what? Learn a trade? Hold on, I need a cigar. were confined to her family. I think she... Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Yes, of course. Well, no weapons in the... Welcome to the party. Anything you need, sir. Please move along. Yeah, that's nice. Careful. The Wall of Light is a gift from the Lord Regent, designed to keep his good friends safe. I doubt you qualify. Present yourself. So let me find you. Promotion 
for the man who killed this one. Take out his leg. Hello, sir. at the party. Put it away, sir. Welcome to the party. If you want to be beaten, go right ahead. Go ahead, take it. Everyone does. I had a servant sew me an extra pocket. Indeed. Wait a minute. Is that weapon part of the costume? Who are you? I know these are dangerous times, but please, put your weapons away. I'm getting peckish. We should have the girl bring food. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. He's the only one holding this ticket. Excuse me. No guests past this point. city during the fugue feast this year no no no
We found out what the whales could do. Excuse me. Ooh, scary mask. Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time. Enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The mask... You did it. And now we've done away with a woman, and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. You've had a long night, Corvo. But I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now. In Havelock's chambers above the bar. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The streets adjacent to... Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable. And now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple. But it will be far from easy. The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterlock. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. You've come very far, Corvo. We are almost there. I regret my connections haven't been more used to you when this business is over, though.